So what is all about a smoke testing? The smoke testing is also a testing process and it is a another type of testing. The smoke testing will be done to validate deployed application or a software build is stable or not. Verify the software build which is deployed on your test environment is good one or bad one. If it is good one, then we will take it for further testing. If it is bad one, we will return back to the development team to fix all the critical issues which is available in that build. So in order to make the decision, so we will be performing the spoke testing where we will be exuding around 10 to 15 critical test cases, very basic minimum test cases that would help whether the application is really smoking or not, whether all the crucial critical functionalities are still working or not. So that is the insurity or guarantee we will get as part of executing this critical test. It can be done using manual or in automated way for every build which developer is going to generate and every build we will be getting deployed in our test environment and we will be executing these 15 to 20 test cases and build on build so that whichever the build which success in all these 15 to 20 critical test cases then only we will take this build for further testing. If any of these 15 to 20 test cases are failing then we will be returning this build back to the development and we will say these are the some of the critical functionalities are not at all working. It is not a good candidate for further testing. We will be returning back this build back to the development so that they can fix all these critical issues so that they can return back to us for further testing. The testing team will be wasting our time by choosing the wrong build. The critical functionality itself is not working then what is the point of executing any other functionalities. So that is a crucial factors we will be testing as part of the smoke testing and also the smoke testing we will also call it as a BVT build verification test and we will call in a different names as well.